Welcome to my channel's Striker 24 x 7 If you like my YouTube videos then Subscribe Click the bell icon Like Comment And share Welcome back to the part 2 video series of VC dial security or hardening Next we are going to see the asterisk hardening Asterisk is the most popular Open source telephony or communication software VC dial uses asterisk as telephony software To terminate trunks conference module for agent sessions and many other features. In VC dial setups, there are few security flaw in asterisk. Number 1, AMI bind address. AMI stands for asterisk manager interface. It's a kind of API for asterisk, listens on TCP port 5038. It allows an external program to control and monitor the asterisk system, like call origination, termination, listen etc. By default in VC dial setups, the AMI bind address is set to 0.0.0.0, which means, AMI listens to all interface, for example if public IP is configured, then external users can control the asterisk. To overcome this security flaw, you can set this bind address to local host or to your private IP address. Using the VI editor open the manager config file, that is manager.conf file under asterisk folder in, set bind hyphen address equals 127.0.0.1. Note, if you are using standalone VC dial server, then use localhost as bind address. If you are using VC dial cluster setup, then you need to set the bind address, either to the private IP, or ACL which I have detailed in next section, or use the IP tables to restrict the IP access on port 5038. Number 2, AMI ACL. As said earlier, if you are using VC dial cluster setup and you want to restrict the AMI access to specific IP or subnet, then you can use the ACL option, that is deny and permit options. Using the VI editor, open the file manager.conf and, for each AMI user context, set the deny equals 0.0.0.0/0.0.0, which means restrict all. And set permit to a specific IP or subnet or you can set a list of IPs followed by commas. Note, in the ACL method the bind address either set to 0.0.0.0 or server private address. Also, don't forget to reload the asterisk service. Number 3, AMI default users. By default, in VC dial the AMI usernames created as cron, update cron, listen cron, send cron. And these AMI users are configured with a common password 1234, which are well known in internet and easy cake for hackers. For best practice and considering the security, these AMI users and password should be changed. Using the VI editor open the file manager.conf and change or rename all the default AMI users, example I have shown here. Note, make sure to use a common password for all our AMI users. Now, you need to update VC dial with our new AMI users and password. Navigate to admin then servers in your VC dial admin portal and update these fields, manager user, secret, update user, listen user, send user, as shown here. Number 4, asterisk IAX bind address. IAX stands for inter asterisk exchange, which is a communication protocol native to asterisk software. It's similar to SIP protocol, but listens on port 4569. By default in VC dial setups, the IAX bind address is set to 0.0.0.0, which means listen to all interface. In case a public IP is configured in server, then it's open to public. To avoid external access to the IAX protocol, you can set this bind address to 127.0.0.1, as the VC dial uses few IAX peers which basically registers locally with loopback address. Using the VI editor, edit the IAX.cant file, and set the bind address either 127.0.0.1 or set to your private IP. Note, if you are using standalone VC dial server and not using any IAX phones, then you can use the loopback address. If you are using cluster setup and using the IAX phones, then better set the bind address to the server's private IP or set to 0.0.0.0 and restrict with IP tables for port 4569. Number 5, asterisk default IAX peers password. By default VC dial uses, three default IAX peers, like, AST loop, AST blind, AST play. Although these IAX peers are initially set with a common strong password, but for better security, change it often and set to a strong password. To set this password, Navigate to admin followed by servers in your VC dial admin portal and search for the option conf file secret. Number 6, asterisk IAX peers host option. As said earlier, 
The VC dial setup creates three default IAX peers, AST loop, AST blind, AST play. As these users, host option is to set to dynamic, which means anyone can register. To avoid external IAX peer registration, for single server setup, you can set this host option to 127.0.0.1. For cluster setups, either use a static IP or use the ACL, that is deny and permit option. Note, these IAX peers are auto-generated by a VC dial script called admin underscore keep alive underscore all dot pl. So any manual changes in configuration fill will be restored to default. So to avoid this, you have to edit the script file and set options required, as shown here. I have provided sample in this video description. Here's the sample config for both the option. Use VI or Nano Editor to edit the file admin underscore keep alive underscore all dot pl which is located under USR, share, AST GUI client folder. Number 7, asterisk default SIP peers. By default in VC dial, some SIP peers are created. Example, GS102, CC100 to CC150. Similarly for IAX peers, from CC300 to CC350. For best practice, delete these peers and create your own set of peers with strong password and custom template, which I have explained in next section. Number 8. Securing asterisk SIP peers with custom template. By default in VC dial, all existing and new SIP peers created with default SIP settings. Like example host equals dynamic. To enhance the SIP security, you can create a custom template with additional settings like ACL, that is deny and permit option, call limit per SIP peer extra, and then attach this to each SIP peers. Number 9. Asterisk SIP peers registration password. Although the VC dial initial setup force you to set a strong password, but it's best practice to change it at regular intervals. Also VC dial provides an option to set a strong password whenever a new phone is created in the system. Under admin, system settings, you can find an option called default phone registration password, where you set a strong password. Here is the SQL command to change the registration password for all the phone at single shot. Follow to this you need to reboot once to take effect. Thanks for watching. Check out the part 3 of this video series, link provided in description.